want to know what teams most deserve to be in the college football playoffs right now? Well, that is what the college football playoff ladder is for. This ladder rewards many things, but mostly rewards strength of schedule, along with not losing to teams you're really not supposed to lose to. Here's a quick glance of all the points you can get throughout the year. And if you see with these seasonal stats, we're really catching on to them now. So let's go see how the ladder looks with one week left in the season. So here are your level zero teams. I'm sorry, but these programs are absolutely hideous right now. All the Power 5 teams did jump out of level zero, but we're still here stuck with seven group of five teams. Okay, now getting into the nitty gritty stuff. Level one and level two are either full of teams from the group of five that are trying to get bowl eligible or just became bowl eligible, and then kind of your bottom of the barrel power five teams. Level three, you see a mix of things. You have teams like Kansas and Kansas State that are just in the top 25, and then you have a team like UCF down here, who is nowhere close, but they just upset Oklahoma State, so they got points for that. In level four and level five, you start seeing the better group of five teams. And then if you see a power five team that is ranked but still in these levels, either lost games that they really shouldn't have lost, or like Iowa, they they don't play anybody. And here we got the top 20. Plus there's four more that I will show you later. Here down on level six, we got the two best group of five teams this year. My heart goes out to JMU as they can't go to the postseason this year. If we look at level seven, we see probably two imposters. Hey, USC, absolutely. And then we got Notre Dame. For USC's sake, with their prolific offense, they've hit quite a bit of those seasonal stats. Now, since they already hit it, they can't hit them again, so they will stay there and teams will jump them. But for Notre Dame, they have had a gauntlet of a schedule this year. And yes, they have lost some games, but they have knocked off off ranked teams which have pushed them up the ladder. Then we got Ole Miss and Penn State. They're both probably about your tier two teams in those respective conferences. Level nine, you got Florida State, which stands out. After that ranked win against LSU, they really haven't had a very tough opponent and it shows in the ladder. And shout out to Oregon State. If Washington and Oregon left and they could upset them. Finally here on level 10, we got undefeated Michigan and two one-loss teams. Michigan jumped a lot after that top 10 win last weekend. Still with their weak schedules, why they're not on the ranks of other teams on the next graphic. And here is the top of your ladder so far. Oregon, Washington, and and Georgia have hit seasonal stats, plus have won many ranked games. And Ohio State with having a top 10 win over Notre Dame and Penn State, that's what jumped them up a lot. I keep telling you guys, this ladder will be right. See about the top five teams make the playoffs. And right now, it looks like three out of four of these teams probably will. And if we jump back, those top three teams there could potentially make it also. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll answer them in the comments.